Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to go over something different that a lot of people don't know about Photoshop and Photoshop can actually handle video fairly well. Uh, you can actually do a little bit of editing uh, video in Photoshop if you needed to. I wouldn't recommend it because it's very um, it's very not friendly. It's not a, a user friendly uh, aspect of Photoshop. But one thing in Photoshop that you can do is if you are a YouTuber or someone who needs a screen grab of a video, you can actually have Photoshop do this for you instead of you having to pull up a video. Uh, do a, a crappy uh, screen grab or a screen uh, screenshot of your of your computer. Very easy to do in Photoshop, and it can actually do it all for you. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. So this is kind of it basically if you uh, if you are making a YouTube video, for example, and you need to make a thumbnail from that video, this is how you probably want to go ahead and do it. So the first thing you need to do is open Photoshop. I have it right here. I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to Import. And I'm going to say import video frames to layers. Now here is going to ask me to just pick up my clip. Uh, I have this one. Let's see which one do I want to do right here. Uh, and this is this, this, this clip right here. It's basically a girl looking back at the camera. And really all I want is a screen grab of her looking at the camera. So this video is a, a fairly long video. I don't need all of that. I can just get that one piece. So I'm going to go ahead and click open here. And here is the dialog box that we really need to pay attention to. We have some options here. We have from the beginning to the end. So that basically means it's going to capture every frame of the video from beginning to end. Uh, unless you have a very short clip, you probably don't want to do that because it's going to make hundreds of layers, uh, even thousands of layers, uh, depending on the length of the video. Uh, you can also say select range. So you can trim the video here. So like I said, we only need the part in the beginning. So this handle here will go all the way through the video and you can drag it down. So you see we got a lot of video to work with, but I really only want that one portion right here. So I'm going to, I'm basically telling, I want Photoshop to capture all the frames from here to here in the video. Don't worry about anything else. Now the other option we have here is limit to every uh, number of frames. So you can say every two frames take a take a screen grab or every five frames. This is really helpful if you do have a very long video. Uh, since I'm only using a little section here, I probably don't need to do that. Uh, but again, if you're using a five, five, 10, 15 second video and you're grabbing every frame, then uh, you probably want to skip a few because you you know depending on the frame rate that it was recorded in and and all that it's probably going to get cra uh, grab tons tons and tons of frames that you really don't need so all of that is selected there I'm good to go I'm going to go ahead and click OK now Photoshop did its magic and basically just gave me let's see how many frames it gave me 90 frames uh, from this one clip so again I probably could have narrowed it down with the every other frame. Um, but I, I, I basically chose this part here. So here we can see the first layer is selected. We toggle that off and we can kind of walk through our, our video here. We can get a closer up view. You can see that we have a lot more to play with here rather than just getting a crappy screen grab. So let's say uh, I don't like that one, but I do like one of the earlier ones here. So let's get that one I do like that one that's gonna make a really good thumbnail and it's actually gonna be the thumbnail of this video so this is the one we want uh, so to start making the thumbnail all we have to do is just go ahead we don't need any of these layers I'm just gonna delete these delete these and here we go we have our thumbnail ready to go so you can see it's a very uh, easy way of grabbing thumbnails from videos uh, and it does a fairly decent job of selecting the the more crisper ones, the the, the sh more sharp ones. Obviously, if your video is very motion heavy, uh, there's, it's probably gonna be a lot of motion blur. But for this one, it worked really, really good. A nice sharp image for our thumbnail. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little Photoshop tutorial. Head on over to Sleek Lens for more tips and tricks and all other fun photography stuff over there. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next video.